This video will explain about the feature called Edit Macro. Before we start I just explain what is Edit Macro. Edit Macro is a section where you can do editing of macro and deletion of a macro. While recording, user might have forgot to add any of the actions or user might feel to remove some of the actions which is not needed. It is tough for user to create again a new macro so we have a feature called Macro Editor. Here, Code Editor provides the text editor interface that allows you to edit directly XML elements of which macro is made. User can delete a macro which is recorded under current session. If a user feel the created macro is of no use, then having unwanted macros is simply utilizing the memory so it's better to delete a macro. Let's see how to edit and delete a macro. After login the HackP page, just launch any session, we can see the macro icon in the ribbon bar. Click the macro icon. Now click the edit macro option in the drop down, then edit macro panel will be opened. You can see the locations of the macro as current session, local system. If the user selects macro location as current session, for HTML based and combine based model, macro which is present in the browser cache will be listed in the drop down. User can select the macro which needs to be edit or delete. For config based model, macro which is present in server side or which is recorded under current session will get listed. For editing of macro, click on the edit macro button. After click the edit macro button, the selected macro corresponding XML file will be opened on the editor. After editing a macro, there is a verify button which verifies the XML correctness. If any error is found, then it will throw an error message. After editing a macro, user can save their changes by clicking the save button. For deletion of macro, click on the delete macro button. Click OK on the confirmation pop-up. The selected macro will be deleted. Here, we have an option, if the user wants to edit a macro file which is in their local system, then can import their Mac file by using this import button. Then the code editor will be opened with macro code. This editor has intelligence to check the correctness of the syntax. After editing the macro, user can verify the macro code by using this verify button. If any error in the macro it will be shown in the error messages. If there is no error user can save the macro code as a new file by clicking the save button. After clicking the save button it will ask for a macro name which needs to be saved in your location. User can see their saved file in their download locations.